Hello, Namaskar. I'm Dr. Poonam Sambhaji, child and newborn specialist and I'm working in Goa in uh, Porvorim basically. Uh, and uh, these um, videos which I'm doing are basically for awareness of my fellow Goans and my fellow Indians uh, to manage the Corona uh, infection especially when we are home bound basically for the home quarantine service like in goa it is already approved that a person who is asymptomatic that is doesn't have any symptoms but is come corona positive he can uh, be uh, home quarantined okay so my whole this covid 19 series is for the home quarantine people I had already, I had basically made this series for my YouTube and my Instagram channel but now I get to know that there is a huge circulation even on the Facebook. So for all those people who are seeing my videos not on YouTube but any other channel, remember many times I must have said that I am leaving a link here on top, okay. So whenever I say there is a link here on top, if you are seeing it on any other channel other than YouTube channel then please go to my YouTube channel and see the COVID-19 series you will get a huge lot of uh, information which I am 100% sure you will uh, you will like okay now today uh, the topic today is uh, how am I supposed to prepare myself for COVID-19 okay like suppose now we don't know who is going to come positive when so because it is already in a huge spread so you should be mentally prepared if at all I am COVID positive what am I going to do okay so remember one thing for all whether they are males or females listening to me please keep your basic things ready first thing is your water supply your food supply why I am telling you this is it has happened multiple times that the lady from the house is come positive and the question that first came was that who is going to cook for the rest of the house okay so important thing is whether male or female please learn cooking you cannot expect a positive female that is a female who is come covid positive to cook for the rest of the family she's going to spread the disease to the rest of the family so learn your cooking whether you are male or female at least the basic cooking please learn it second you have to know what all things are required when you have to home isolate most important of them is your digital thermometer and your the uh, and your pulse ox how to use it i've already made a separate video on my youtube channel uh, if you're seeing me on youtube link is here please go there see those videos or in my covid 19 series please go and see those videos on in the youtube channel okay uh, as well as in the instagram now once you are tested positive they will tell you for home quarantine and when you are home quarantined it is important that you have certain supplies now this various supplies that you require for the convenience of patients has been supplied in a box which definitely you have to buy now it is not necessary that you buy the same box that i would be showing in my video but if you can manage to get the stuff what is there in the box you can use whatever are the items which are there in the box okay your doctor will help you in getting the contact of the person if at all you require the box the next i will be explaining everything regarding what is there in the box so let's see what all things are there so this is box which contains one unit of digital pulse oximeter one unit of digital thermometer becosyl z capsules vitamin c capsules d rice sachets paracetamol tablets bio waste bags which are yellow and red in color a sodium hypochlorite solution a spray bottle a ma the few masks few gloves and the instruction manuals this box makes it easy for you now once you open the box it looks something like this you can procure this box from uh, your area whoever is supplying it or you can get in contact with the ima doctor who is following your well-being uh, so he will also help you in procuring this box first thing i will show you is this this is the sodium hypochlorite solution that you require and see it is written over here already all instructions are written on that sodium hypochlorite solution this is one liter bottle that you will require for the uh, rest of the uh, days that you will be isolated okay so you are going to add 100 ml of this liter water to uh, half a liter of water and then you're going to use this to disinfect the surfaces objects and pre uh, uh, surfaces like your uh, uh, the floor uh, the doorknobs and everything else that you uh, touch now this once it is prepared it has to be prepared fresh and you can put the prepared uh, uh, this thing solution in the spray bottle and this can be used to spray the surfaces and the rest can be used to clean your floor now cleaning the floor has to be done two times there is this monitoring chart also which is provided and a pen that is also provided so that you can do the monitoring 
so use this chart or use the three times a day chart anyone you can use uh, that is the best thing that you can do to protect yourself and to uh, monitor yourself presently when you are asymptomatic covid positive patient another option for this that is the hypochlorite solution is you can use uh, 3 teaspoons of bleaching powder the regular bleaching powder that we get in 1 liter of water okay and then you can use that and this also has to be made freshly twice a day and use it for cleaning your surfaces that are contaminated Now the second thing that comes in the box is these bags. Now these are the red bags which are used for the bio uh, medical waste. I'll be telling you after some time. <clears throat> the third thing is these yellow bags. Again, yellow bags are for specific bio medical waste, which I will tell you after some time. This this is the pulse oximeter and this is the digital thermometer which comes in it, which I have made separate videos. So you will see the link here. Just look at the uh, top end. You will get a link uh, in which I am. Uh, Uh, i have already written the the link of the video in which you will see how to use the pulse oximeter so this is the pulse oximeter with the cord which is there this is the digital thermometer okay, which again i have made a separate uh, uh, separate video on that so please go through those video links all the links that i'll be stating in this video they are of some of the other use use to you if you are home quarantine covid positive person then these are the triple layered surgical mask which you are going to use in case you have to move outside your house as much as possible please see to that you are confined to your room you are confined to your room or whichever area you are isolated in this is only in case you have to move out like in emergencies if you have to go to the hospital okay in that case you or you are come in contact with some other person who is providing you the food or uh, the person is come to clean your room in that case you are going to wear this mask then comes the gloves again use the gloves wherever necessary when you are going to touch areas which you feel may contaminate and infect other people please use the gloves the gloves have to be also disposed properly then comes a full full array of medications in this box which are required for you during this stay of home isolation so first one i will take is the paracetamol so paracetamol is for fever so in case you have fever you are going to take it if it, there is no fever you are not going to take it then there is this vitamin c tablets which are the chewable tablets okay now this vitamin c tablet will be taken one tablet morning and one tablet in the evening with warm water these all instructions are written in the box itself or your doctor who has home quarantined you will also give the instruction now these are the bicosul z that is the multivitamin tablets okay now this has to be taken one tablet daily with warm water as much as possible see that you take warm water the third is the vitamin d sachets okay now these are three sachets and these are to be taken once a week and instructions of how to take them is already written on the uh, box okay this has to be also taken with milk or water you please read the instructions at the back side of the uh, these packets this is the instruction leaflet which you will see inside the box and it has all the instructions that you require including how you are going to uh, segregate your biomedical waste uh, then uh, what all things the tablets as i said okay the tablet instruction is given here uh, then what are the do's and the don'ts okay so those that i will be making a separate video on the do's and the don'ts that you are going to do uh, that you have to follow sorry at the now coming to the waste segregation that is how are you going to dispose your waste that is all written in these columns here this paper that you would be getting in these columns everything is written so i will explain to you in between i'll be looking at this so that i don't miss anything um, i don't want you to get half knowledge that's why okay so the in your uh, this in kit itself there will be these uh, yellow bags and uh, the Uh, red bags again i am again i am uh, repeating if you can uh, get it from anywhere else please you are most welcome to get i am not saying you have to take it from the box okay if you can arrange it please arrange it okay so uh, in the yellow bag what all things will go in the yellow bag so yellow bag you are going to throw your used face mask so face mask do not throw it here and they you uh, throw it in the yellow bag then your head caps then usually you will you won't be wearing your head cap shoe covers those things you are not going to wear now the cotton swabs the cotton in case you have got wound or something and you have swabbed that you have cleaned that with the cotton or with the dressing material then those things will also go in this yellow bag in case of ladies the sanitary pads that 
you are using has to go in the yellow bag and preferably uh, cover each sanitary pad with a simple plastic bag and tape it so that you know otherwise because it will remain for long time in that uh, in that bag it may start stinking okay then uh, the diapers of the kid even the diapers again each diaper please see to it that you cover it with a proper plastic simple plastic and then you put it in the uh, yellow bag contaminated cloths now there are some certain cloths you don't want to wash them again then those cloths also you put it in the yellow bag tissue papers in case you use tissue papers for sneezing or any cleaning anything which contains body, body fluids then you are going to put it in the yellow bag contaminated straw in case you happen to drink with a straw as far as possible i would uh, uh, request you please do not use these plastic items which are disposable try to use more of your uh, uh, steel items or glass items which can be cleaned with hot water also expired and leftover medicines will go in the yellow bag once you put the uh, things in the bag so whether it is yellow bag or it is whichever color bag okay once you put the things in that bag so this is the bag which is open you put things in that see that you fold the bag this way so fold the bag this way first and then fold it this way and just put a rubber band here it becomes sealed okay so you can you put uh, use it to put other things whenever you want to dispose things inside okay so that is about any bag when you are going to seal it just don't keep it open now coming to your red bag so what all things will go in the red bag are your gloves so these gloves that you are going to use will go in the red bag after you remove them then the face shield so there are chances you may end up using the face shield the face shield is something like this you must have seen many people wearing it this way okay this is your face shield okay then is your uh, contaminated pet bottles so if you have used pet bottles again as i said please avoid using disposable things decrease the amount of kachra from the whole of the world okay so don't use pet bottles if at all you use you're going to put it in that then empty urine bags now this is for those people who are elderly or who are bedridden and and are already on a uh, this thing a urine bag or something like that less likely that these people will be allowed to stay at home but if at all you have someone that it will go in the red bag syringes tubings okay contaminated plastic cups again those will go in the uh, the red bag the rest of your kachra that is suppose you had food and the leftovers is there or you know some leftover of your plastic bags which did not contain any body fluid what is going to go to your regular uh, uh, this thing uh, the person who collects your garbage regularly see that those things are sprayed with your sodium hypochlorite solution before you dispose them so that they can do not spread the disease to the other people who are handling it okay so that is the leftover food and everything and those should go in a ideally in a black polythene bag okay it is our responsibility now to decrease the spread of this disease if you do not spread this disease by spreading your biomedical waste you are doing a great job so please see to it that you do not mix your red and yellow bags with your regular waste these red and yellow bags will be taken by your panchayat or your municipality at the end of the 17 days of your quarantine if they do not take it please see to it that you inform your area uh, member so that they arrange for the, taking these uh, these bags these bags will be then kept in the uh, area of their uh, uh, waste disposal and from there the proper biomedical waste disposal people will collect it and will dispose it properly this is the mechanism that has to be followed and it is going on in many panchayats if at all your panchayat uh, may, may or may not know sometimes you know mechanisms are new and they may not know then in that case you have to just inform your panchayat member i think they will do the needful we all all have to fight this covid together so we have to follow all these instructions all instructions are given in your booklet please go through them my next video will be on how you, what you are going to do inside your room okay do not get bored what you are supposed to do inside the room what you are expected to do inside the room i will tell you that in my next video that should be more than enough of information for uh, uh the uh, what home care kit you should be using to protect yourself and to protect the other people also remember you know that corona virus infection is spreading like fire now uh what is there in our hand is to protect ourselves and protect the circle of people who are around us if everyone tries to do that i think we can control it still to some extent okay whatever possible we can do so that we survive and the people around us also survive happily 
all there are comments which require me to do new videos i will do follow me up on my youtube and on my instagram and see my covid 19 series thank you